Oracle has been helping enterprises run their businesses since Larry Ellison founded the company in 1977. Over 40 years, Oracle has become synonymous with databases. Now the company is making a big bet on the cloud. We've come to Oracle Open World in sunny San Francisco to learn all about this mission. Why is it that the world needs yet another cloud provider? Well, I think first and foremost, the enterprise has yet to move the world's most you know, business mission critical applications to cloud. And it's because they haven't felt like there's been a cloud vendor that they can trust. So that's what we're really purpose built for is that enterprise use case. So why not stick with everyone else and go with AWS? Well, AWS doesn't really provide the uh, enterprise platforms that we need uh, to sustain our business. So we felt we needed to transform the way we deliver, operate, and manage software. So we're building piece by piece, moving um, sort of lower, less critical workloads to more um, mission critical workloads over time, over the next two years. Look, one, one of the jobs that I have is to make sure that we drive consumption and we make our customers and partners really happy. And the way we do that is not beat on, the, on our chest. We have tons of customers talking about great stories. As an example, you know, you have FICO, uh, which is traditionally been Oracle's uh, independent software vendor as a partner, now launching their next generation applications on our platform. A perfect example of a very um, you know, conservative customer, their main business is around security, but both for their internal applications and also for their end customer applications, they're trusting Oracle. And that's just that one example. Walk us through that journey of bringing some of these complex transactions, complex projects that you have going on into the Oracle Cloud. What does that look like? What's that roadmap look like? Yeah, well, um, retailers like like all of us, right? Whatever industry we're in, we're saddled with uh, we're saddled with the digital transformation challenge. But one of the key uh, aspects of that is interfacing legacy systems uh, with real-time customer communications platforms, right? That's really what we're all about. This, uh, this platform, we call it decision management platform streaming. It's about streaming analytic. When somebody's shopping online or when they're on the phone or when they're interacting with you through a mobile app is right now. Don't mind me as I enter the matrix. It's bringing it together. It's rendering it now as we're, as we're actually watching. What I'm actually very excited about is the fact that together here, we can actually announce that OCI is the uh, first public cloud to offer uh, AMD EPIC processors in both bare metal and virtual machine configurations. Through the partnership that we have and also the technology innovations that you and your company have delivered, combined with the work that we've done, we're able to offer a significantly lower price point and a significantly improved, better price performance. The constant theme that I've been able to understand from our customers partners is they care about their data, this data is exposed through applications, or they want to put their data in a secure place in secure databases. Oracle has been in this business for over 40 years. Now this data is moving to the cloud, and our customers want the right partner and a right cloud technology partner to help them with this transition. What's your top priority and how do you work towards that? So my top priority is keeping our customers' data safe but also making sure our engineers develop products and operate our cloud in a manner that maintains that security, privacy, uh, and availability of our customers' data. So whether you're a financial service institution, a government, a manufacturer, you get the benefits of all that security um, just by coming onto our cloud. Ever since its founding 40 years ago, Oracle's been focused on protecting governments, uh, industries, uh, large enterprises at a global scale. And you know, this shift to cloud for us is really all about harnessing the you know, four decades of experience we have servicing the, the very high demands of that customer base. Um, I think what you've heard at Open World this year is a real commitment to security from the core of the way that we think about infrastructure, the compute, the storage, the data centers, the architecture, the network, all the way out to the outer fringes where the end user connects into your network, the edge of the network. Oracle Open World 2018 is in the books. We've learned about how Oracle has built an enterprise level cloud and how customers are using that to manage and grow their businesses. I'm Brian Westbrook with GeekWire. Thanks for watching our coverage from Open World presented by Oracle.